Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do the daily vibe for the 24th right now. So this is for somebody, I don't know who, could be you, may not be. We're just going to see what comes up for the 24th. This would be what, Thursday the 24th. Thursday the 24th, what do we got? I'm going to get one of these just for the heck of it. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. That's a pretty strong message in itself, isn't it? Thankful. Thankfulness. I am thankful for all the opportunities. So somebody is feeling a bout of gratitude today on the on Thursday. A bout of gratitude. Thankfulness. What else do we got for the 24th? Hmm. <sighs> Communication perhaps. This is truthful, honest, forthright, right? forthright um, straight to the point straight to the point <laughs> maybe a bunch more cars to go with that one oh. mm. definitely some communication coming through some sort of truth this is the sword of raw truth. <laughs> Interesting. One on each end. Somebody is making a decision to speak the truth. This is something that is coming from their heart, but it's also been well thought out. It's funny how my roses right there I landed. Um, somebody uh, has been blocking something, that Wheel of Fortune, blocking a reward or blocking destiny uh, oh a connection a love connection somebody's been blocking a love connection that's too bad oh but it looks like they've received some sort of clarity it's like the truth can no longer be hidden Oh, the end of death. It's the end. Something is over. Somebody is communicating that something is over. It's over. Somebody's had a wake up call. This is a wake up call. This is a wake. Somebody has had, had some sort of wake up call. about a release of a, I don't know, somebody, this is like a third party situation. It is. That's what I'm seeing it as. Oh my God. It's like, it's over. The pain is over. It's over. The worst is over. The worst is over. The pain is over. Somebody may be opening their heart and forgiving, because this is forgiveness. Letting go of the past hurts. Somebody is like starting to come out of, start coming out of a dark period. 
It's like releasing pain, healing. Somebody is somebody is going to be. Somebody is maybe communicating a heartfelt message about something. About a false contract. This is a false contract, a false partnership. It is. That has ended, perhaps? Now, this is speaking the truth. This is speaking the truth. This is speaking the truth. Somebody may be deciding to speak the truth. I don't know. Somebody may, you know, somebody didn't put in effort because they were hiding they were hiding. They were trying to escape something. We're going to get some more cards. But things have gone backwards. Think this is the something has gone backwards. And now maybe they want forgiveness or they're asking for forgiveness or they forgive you or whatever the case is. This is a card of forgiveness. And it's a time to celebrate. It looks like there's a third party situation that has ended, whatever that is, for some of you. What is this karmic? This is a karmic relationship. Karmic contract. It's over. It's over. It's crumbled or it's going to crumble. It was a, <laughs> okay. This is a false contract in reverse. And this is a false foundation in upright. It was a false commitment. Okay? It was. It was never built on solid ground. It wasn't. It was unrealistic. Somebody has been really losing sleep and really depressed and really worried about... Facing their fears. Facing the truth. Telling the truth about why they didn't put in effort or whatever the case is. Yeah, somebody's trying to, has been, been trying to escape. This is escapism and the moon card is too. Somebody's been resisting a change, but while they're resisting a change, things were, they were on this roller coaster that was bringing them backwards. There's no joke. Somebody has been going backwards because they haven't been able to heal from a situation that ended. They may have gotten themselves in a false contract thinking that that was going to heal them, but it couldn't because it was never built on a solid foundation because they were pretending. They were hiding their true feelings. They were being cold, like stone cold in this partnership. It was just for... You know, they probably thought it was a logical thing to do. I'm just going to get with somebody else and it's going to help me to heal, you know, and everything is going to be fine. And the fact of the matter is that you can't, you don't, you don't heal like that. You don't. You got to take time to heal and somebody hasn't, you know, and it's like, there's no, there's no, um, no healing. Somebody has not been able to find peace with moving on. And perhaps now they're deciding to communicate the truth. Now, what the hell is this? Yeah, somebody hasn't, they've lost some abundance. Maybe they've lost money or they've lost business. Karma is truly a bitch. And this is a card of karma. Somebody has lost something. And it's something big, something they could have banked on. Something they could have saved. Some sort of prosperity, something they that was big, they lost it. They've been losing losing abundance, that's for darn sure. Somebody's been losing abundance because they refused to change and they tried to escape reality all the while being depressed and anxious and stressed because they knew that they had to put in effort, but they weren't putting in effort. They were trying to take the easy route, trying to bury their emotions and not feel. It's like, I didn't want to feel, I didn't want to feel anything. And so they got themselves in a contract just for lust, you know, just to... to 
for, as a mask and as a mask no joke and now it's like it's crumbled it's over but they may not be able to apologize I don't know what this is somebody didn't do the right thing and they know they didn't do the right thing somebody did not do this is lack of integrity This is a dead end. This is a dead end. Somebody involved themselves in a dead end. They invested their time and they wasted their time and invested their time and energy in a lie. Something that was unrealistic. Somebody just didn't want to put in any effort at all. Wanted to take the easy route. And now it's like things have been chaotic, things have been disorderly, and now it's like they're on this tightrope and they're about to fall. And maybe they're like, it's time for a change, I can't keep doing this anymore, it's time for me, it's time for a change. You could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is, this is like a refocus, time to refocus. New vision, new approach. Somebody's decided it's time to take a new approach. And maybe maybe this was the other one of the one of the third parties, Aries Leo Sagittarius. This person's kind of like been juggling, going back and forth with this false contract. It could be a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn versus a Aries Leo Sagittarius. Looks like somebody's been juggling, going back and holding on to this one, but offering something to this one. It's like, this is the bigger one. This is the one I want. I can't let it go, but I'm going to offer you something. It's all a lie. Can't let this one go. Holding tight. Somebody has been holding tight mentally, emotionally, to somebody else while offering something to the other one. But maybe this one hasn't re didn't really put in a lot of effort. Maybe this one had a wandering eye and didn't really invest in the relationship. This other person didn't really invest. Didn't really put in any effort. Didn't really, you know, didn't help them. Didn't really help them to break that bond. They didn't. It was just a mask. It was. It was just a mask to mask the pain. Now I think that something has ended with this other person that didn't really fulfill them. I do. And now this person may see that, you know, they they have another chance or they want another chance or this is this is the wounded warrior. There's one more chance left. One more chance left. But somebody's going to have to take the lead and be the boss. Now this is the masculine. This ain't no feminine. This is a masculine. Looks like he is he's got a plan and he's about to take action. He's about to set people straight by the looks of things. Headstrong individual. Very headstrong. We have a headstrong individual here who probably tried to escape some sort of accountability. Now there's an opportunity for a new beginning. Something very prosperous. Something very stable. Something that could lead to um, something long-term, solid. This is a solid opportunity. New beginning. 
something that you can really bank on, right? That's the golden opportunity. This man sees that he has a golden opportunity to stand up one more time. Because he threw it away before. It threw it away before, but it's an, it's an opportunity to get it back. And this guy looks like he's coming up with some sort of plan to start over. So somebody may be coming in with an offer to start fresh, to start over. If we can drop the past, if we can drop the past baggage, whatever this is, this is a fresh new start. Now, this could this be somebody new? This could be somebody new. There is communication coming from somebody that has had a breakup, okay? There's been a breakup. There's been a breakup. No doubt, there's been a breakup. And somebody's coming with an offer. Somebody is coming with an offer. But just beware. I mean, they may be holding on to something else. Or that may have happened in the past. I don't know. Somebody has broken free from a false commitment of... Uh, a karmic relationship is the truth somebody has broken free from something they they've like it's over it is it's over and now there's an opportunity for a new beginning okay a new beginning that has been delayed this beginning this and it could lead to success and a reward it's been delayed because somebody needed to own up and they needed to dominate they needed to be masculine and they needed to um, forgive and open their heart and communicate so this person's been watching this person you already know you already know this person whether it's somebody brand new or not this person's been watching this person has been watching you and they're they're trying to think of whether whether this is a viable chance. Is this a is this is this is there really a chance? Is there is there really a chance? Yes or no? Now is this somebody is making an offer, an emotion of emotional support? Okay, whether it's a I don't know what it is. Could be I love you or um, you know I love you. I mean, what, what more can you say? This is the ship you've been waiting for. It's time. It's arrived. It's time. It's time to... Get on board. It's time to make that choice. Do you want this new beginning or not? You have an opportunity to start at zero. To start at the very beginning. To let go of the past hurts and start over. You may have to deal with a little bit of difficult communication to get there, but it can lead to something really long-term and successful. This has been delayed. It really has. It's been delayed, and somebody's life has been going backwards because they, they needed to master their emotions. And... stop delaying it's like they may have thought the grass was greener on this other side and now you know, now they don't know how to communicate now they don't know how to fix it now they they're afraid you know they're afraid afraid to open their heart most Emo emotionally withdrawn afraid to give their heart afraid to get hurt again somebody's afraid to get hurt again but there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection here. There is. We do have a new beginning, but somebody is afraid to open their heart and communicate how they truly feel. This person, you already know this person. This person knows you. Okay, this is somebody you know that's watching in the background. They're watching. 
but they don't quite know how to communicate. Maybe they've shut their heart off. Maybe they have, you know. Yeah, somebody's lost their focus. They've lost their concentration. They've lost their willpower. They got themselves involved with somebody that wasn't well suited for them. And now they, they may be their, you know, thinking negatively. They're not, they're being pessimistic. They're not seeing that there's an opportunity. There is. They have an opportunity right in the palm of their hand. Seriously. Right in the palm of your hand. What do you hold in the palm of your hand? Your phone. They have an opportunity, right? They had and they have and they saw it. An opportunity right in the palm of their hand. There's an opportunity to start over. It's something that you've been manifesting. It's something that you want. Damn, Five of Swords. I should have called that one. Damn. It's time to be happy. It's time to let go of that ego and pride. Don't you think it is? I mean, it is. It's time to let go of that ego and pride. It's just time to be happy. There's nothing to prove. It's time to start fresh without bringing that baggage. So somebody has an opportunity to end a difficult cycle, a difficult chapter in their life. They do. They have an opportunity to end a difficult chapter, okay, with the death and the wheel card. They do. But the only way to do, though, do so is to step out of that ego and that pride and to just jump, to take a risk, to have faith. This card says jump, take that leap, have faith. Have faith that this is a, is a good thing. Have faith that this is a solid opportunity. Have faith that this is meant to be. Have faith that you can handle this situation. You're the boss. You're in control. This is an opportunity for a reunion and something to celebrate, okay? This is a reunion. An opportunity to reunite and celebrate happiness, love. After I think there was a there was a karmic third party situation, whether it's family or love or whatever, I don't know who it was, but somebody, there was a monkey in the middle. There really, 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 really was. And now I think that's over or it's going to be. And now is the time to start over or, or to go. I mean, really start fresh. This is a new beginning, whether it's start over with somebody or start over brand new. This could be whatever it is for you. I don't know. It could be either one in this case. Okay. Oh. This, is, this is a fresh new start, a brand new beginning with somebody that you manifested. I honestly think that you have met this person. This is somebody that has been watching you and they know you. Okay, so I think that you do, whether you've been with this person or not, I don't know, but they know you. Okay, they've been watching you, they've been observing, and they've been, you know, I think they made some mistakes. They made some mistakes, and they brought some chaos into their life, and tried to bury their feelings, that, and they tried to pretend they didn't have any feelings, and maybe for a while they didn't have any feelings, but it looks like their heart chakra is opening back up. And now, you know, they've been stalled and stagnant and not reaping any rewards because, you know, that karma is absolutely positively a bitch if you do not treat people with integrity. Where's the card? You lose the abundance. This is a card of integrity, okay? This is. It's a card of integrity. It's about doing the right thing, even if it means you got to work a little bit harder. And then you get the abundance. Somebody doesn't do the right thing. The abundance gets slips away. When you don't do the right thing, karma watches and they see and they don't bring you a reward. Somebody didn't do the right thing. They, maybe they've had this wake-up call. That I, This is a wake-up call. Okay, wake-up call. And perhaps they're going to communicate. This person that's been watching, whoever it is, whether it's somebody new or somebody old, you know, this person is deciding, you know, I want love. I want to be happy. I'm ready to start over and find, you know, something abundant. 
something real. This is the real deal. So yeah, I think that somebody is finding gratitude in everything. I'm thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And somebody is seeing that there is a new opportunity here. There is a new opportunity to go in a new direction and let go of the past and start over. Okay? It's the opportunity that, it's the biggest opportunity. It is. Huge opportunity. For but abundance. I mean abundance. But you're going to have to take a risk. This is have faith. Take that leap. Take a risk. And remember, you can't bring that past with you. You have to forgive. Both people have to forgive. The past. Whether they've been together or it's the past from the one that, that broke them, whatever. Forgiveness is needed here for sure with this card right here. Forgiveness. So yeah, there's an opportunity to go in a new direction without bringing the past. And that doesn't mean that you don't reunite with the past. It means you let go of the past hurt. You let go of the past pains. You let go of the past traumas to start over. Somebody may be coming with an offer or, or some sort of gift. This is a gift, like flowers or... I don't know. This is this is a circle. Could be a ring. Could be anything. I mean, I don't know. This could be a. This is a gift. Something. Somebody be, could be coming with some sort of offer. Could even be emotional support because this is love, and it leads you down a new direction if you can take that risk. Remember that everything happens. To bring you closer to your life's purpose. And somebody tried to like. Hinder. Hinder something. With the real intemperance reverse. They tried to hinder destiny. Evolving. Whatever. I don't know what it is. Somebody tried to escape. What is. What is meant to be. This is what is meant to be. The wheel of fortune is what is. Somebody tried to escape something. Mm. And it was because of pride and ego. But anyway, somebody is deciding, I just want to be happy. I'm ready for this new opportunity. I'm ready for the, for the real deal. And I'm ready to start over. This could certainly be somebody brand new that is, like, communicating hot and heavy. Or, you know... I see a lot of communication. There's definitely some communication coming through that says, hey, you know, something like, you're it, you know, or I love you even, something like that. You're what I've been looking for. You're the one. One, one. I didn't act with integrity. I didn't, my ego got in the way. I don't know if anybody says that. I mean, if somebody comes to you and says that I didn't act with integrity and my ego got in the way, it takes a really big person to do that. If somebody did that, I suggest you forgive them. I mean, I don't know. You do whatever you want. You do whatever you want. I mean, I don't know. Don't tell them, don't, you do whatever you want. I don't know. I don't even know what I would do. So, scratch that one. Um, forgiveness is needed. Forgiveness is needed. Okay? Forgiveness is needed. This is forgiveness right here. Can you forgive? Can you? Can you? Can you forgive the past? Because this is moving forward without the past. Somebody has to move forward without the past. It's going to take courage. It's going to take strength. It's going to take perseverance. It's going to take no knowledge, okay? It's going to take a lot of willpower. It's going to take a lot of strength to 
man up. I don't know if we're dealing with an Aries or what. We have Aries, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have, we have them all. Did I say them all? We did. Yeah, we got them all. Anyway, somebody got in, themselves in, in, into a false contract, you know, a commitment or some sort of partnership that has fallen apart. And now they are, you know, being brought into your life again or newly or whatever to help you but you got to take a risk and you got to stop playing games and stop juggling you think about this oh never mind I'm not going to say it I can't say it. it I already thought about this earlier but it pertains to a personal situation so I'm not going to say it but the one that you are holding close to you is the one that you want. It's like he, he's not going to let this one go for nothing. If he drops, that one's going to stay in his hand. If he had to choose, it would say if... Oh, never mind. I'm going to stop. I want to get my own feelings in this, okay? Um, somebody has to make a choice, and they're about to. Somebody's going to make a choice. Embracing enthusiasm. Somebody is making a decision about what they hold dear. And what they don't. And which opportunity is going to bring them the most abundance. That's what's going on here. So yeah, we have an opportunity for a new beginning. Brand spanking new. Absolutely. Embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Oh my God. I don't think I've ever had this card. Shout to the heavens with happiness. Stop waiting on the sidelines. To heal your life and reach your goals, get up and take some risks. I can't make this shit up, okay? Unbelievable. Break a few rules. Shout to the heavens with joy and exuberance. Clap your hands with glee. Be silly. Don't hold back. Allow childlike wonder to flood your life. Take a day off from work. Experience and celebrate even the smallest events of life. Isn't that funny? I am thankful for this life. Interesting. Experience and celebrate even the smallest events of life. Discover what's great about each day. This is not the time to be reserved. Embrace every aspect of life. Smell the daisies. Good times are ahead if you just let loose a bit. Not everything has to be so controlled. An unseasoned traveler believes that happiness only comes after one has reached his destination. However, the sacred traveler knows the fastest way to manifest your dreams is to be happy right now. You don't have to wait to experience joy. Your enthusiasm about what you already have, <laughs> unbelievable, okay, unbelievable. Your enthusiasm about what you already have will ignite miracles in your life. Without enthusiasm, 
something inside you sleeps. You must awaken. And then your relationships flourish. Your health becomes vibrant and your connection to the Creator deepens. Wow. So that's what I have for the 24th. Good luck.